towards the, the sea, looking out on, on, the, on the rock, was the silence. And I said to Amanda, can you hear that? He said, I know. She said, it was, there was no hum of traffic. You, you couldn't hear the waves. You could hear a few birds. No one was talking. It was absolute silence. And it was it was overpowering. It was just wonderful, and it and it and it lifted lifted my spirit. And I think if you, if you times that by however many it would be to be in um in the in in Montana at the time of White Feather, then you can see why it made such a profound effect on him, his surroundings, and how um, those teachings can can go across eons of time, because actually you know the same. That 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 pr um, profound feeling of being at one with the universe, perhaps for us in this day and age, doesn't happen that often. But imagine being in that sort of atmosphere every day of your life, and what you would get from it um, by just listening a little bit more and uh, seeing a little bit more. Um, and, and it sometimes actually brings you down to earth and think, you know, we actually worry far too much about about things that aren't that important. Yeah. yeah. You know? And I think that's stripping away of, of the of the dross, really, stripping away all the materialism that this modern world um, inflicts us in, on us in a way um, can bring about a fundamental change in our thinking. And... Um, I really think we all could could get a lot more out of life by doing that, by not actually trying to fill every moment with something. Mm, yeah, I do wonder sometimes, you know, what kind of guides would we make in the future? <laughs> you know, I know time doesn't exist, but yeah. we get metaphors of laptops and you know headphones and we and sky plus <laughs> i mean to be honest with you they're, they're they're not all bad because we wouldn't be having this conversation no you. okay well, that's well. some someone once said to white feather um can you can you have a, a guide who was a glaswegian welder and he said of course you can he why said, not why not yeah. so we're not all indians and and chinamen and eskimos you know it's 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 the spiritual character you know the spiritual nature of, of, of an individual that matters and not I, what they were i think as you've already mentioned about your daughter and, and and my son to an extent as well it's what can you learn from those who you would least likely feel are teachers to you i mean very often people learn things from from animals you know, they have an affinity with an animal, they have a communication with an animal that's not in words, but is nonetheless so important that that's why we get so many people asking about what happens to pets when they pass into the world of spirit. Um, and those things, you know, you, you can't um, put those to one side and say that they're not important. And, we, and this is why we, we're very much this champion of... of, of um, not being egotistical about what we do because there are people in this world who are teachers who have no idea that they're teachers and we should be humble pupils to those teachings wherever they come from so at the end of the day i mean really the, the teacher as you said earlier should be a student as well yeah. and i think if you get just the one if you're just purely a teacher then maybe they might lose sight of you know things that they need to learn i guess ask yourself this Ian: who who have you learned your greatest life's lessons from and it um, must be the wisest of the wise it may be the fool or the the ignorant person you know your enemy perhaps yeah i mean all the above really i guess mm. yeah it's, it's it's a shame that you know like we obviously we do learn things from good experiences um, they're the things that you look back on fondly, aren't they? But certainly some of the challenges do mould you. Um, and it's trying to get over those. Because I know that some people, are not, you know, to, to draw like an analogy, um, someone can have a really negative experience and they might go on to be a abuser because they were abused. Or they could be somebody that then goes on to help people or abused. And maybe those but two of those pathways exist and it's up to you which one you want to take. Yeah. Yeah. It's a matter of perspective as well, Ian. Mm. You know, uh, I think, as Amanda said earlier, uh, you know, you can look at things from from a material perspective and view them in one way, but when you look from the greater soul's pers perspective, you you may see it quite differently. And and what, as, as White Feather says again, you know, what 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 we we perceive to be bad 
can be good spiritually and what we think of as good may be bad for us spiritually. We have to take always try and look with, with the eyes of the spirit and see the the bigger the bigger picture, the, the greater whole. Indeed. Okay, we've sort of got we come up to the end of the show now. Is there anywhere people can listen to White Feather on the internet or is it something they have to attend? Um we're hoping to put uh, in the future some kind of um some videos or some audio recordings on the website, uh, maybe via YouTube. Um, we, we were due to um, go out to Denmark uh, a few days ago. Unfortunately, we had to cancel for, for one reason or another, and that was going to be videoed, and we we're going to put that on the, on the web. Um, so that will happen. That will happen. Um, I can't say uh, exactly when, but, but, but uh, we, we're aiming to do that. Um, we did have a DVD. People can still purchase that from us, although we don't uh, we don't push that on on the website. Um, but what we'd urge people to do, if they've got any interest at all in perhaps what we said this evening, is is to um, to come and see come and see for themselves. Um, you know, we we welcome anybody who'd like to come, and um, and we get people, as I say, from all sorts of walks of life. So. Um, you know, it'd be lovely to see anybody who would be interested in it. Yeah, and, and anybody can it can make the, the White Feather Gathering as well next July. It'll be a great uh, great event. Um, we've got some other mediums, some spirit surgeons, psychic artists, and, of course, White Feather will be doing a demonstration as well. So, uh, basically, anybody that wants to come along, we'd love to see you, interact with you, and uh, bring your questions for White Feather. Come and, come and have a chat to us. Come and meet us. We, we'd love to see you. Okay, and your website? Yeah, the website's www.whitefeather.org.uk. Okay, wonderful guest. It's been really interesting this evening. Thank you for coming on. Yeah, we've, we've really enjoyed it, too. It's been great chatting to you. And thanks for the questions and, and uh, the input from yourself. We've really enjoyed it. Thank you. Most welcome. Okay. Take care. Bye. Bye.